Hey, what's up guys? How are we doing today? Um, so yeah, as in the title, we got a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. We will watch that. Um, I think I was told it's 9 a.m. EST. So for me, it'll be like 2 o'clock p.m. Uh, so 2 o'clock GMT. Um, today we're just gonna keep going with the hacks. We're gonna do a little Mario roll. We'll see how far we get. If we finish it, I have one more beginner hack on standby. Um, really working on getting to an intermediate hack soon. Probably gonna be at Kogari. I think it's gonna be the first one a lot of people recommend, so. Let's get to it! After a lockdown that lasted way too long, Mario emerges to find that big boost all, all the mushrooms. Go get them back, little Mario. This bit house. It's very smiling. Smiley. Green Hill Zone, Sonic. Awesome. Checkered patterns are so out of style. Avoid them at all costs. Whiffed. Hmm, Koopa, okay. Does it make it fun of Sonic about checkered patterns? I like the Sonic checkered patterns, actually. Don't you? <laughs> God does not want you like getting information. You just gotta know what you're doing. Oh, I jumped a little early. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's a little bit more of a run, and we're good. Pretty close to the edge. Just gotta get that jump, and I think we got an edge coming up. Uh oh. Come on, man. Fall apart already. Ah, oh, 
登场。No. Okay, gotta hold left. <laughs> After you land on that. <laughs> oh, I whiffed. I missed the spring. I actually did too good of a jump there. Sheesh. Maybe I shouldn't hold the button. Maybe I just little hop and reposition. Mushroom fact one, mushrooms are made up of 90% water, just like people mushrooms are people. Okay. Okay, I think it's gonna be faster. Fuck me, that jump. Okay, there's a mole. There's a mole there. We're not gonna hug that one like we did the other day. Oh, come on. <laughs> I guess the muncher got me.
GG. Okay, hopefully we're warmed up now. Bone Dog Woods. Mushroom Fact 2. Toadstool is another name for mushroom. It also means something else, but I can't say it in this hack. Touch the cannon or whatever. The wall there. Okay, you get more momentum jump. Hard not to touch these walls. <laughs> mm, almost. I landed too uh, too close to the edge there. I didn't think I could get enough. Good job. Oof. Oh. We were like barely getting any kind of jumps there. Oops. I'm an idiot. <laughs> hmm. Mm, I like the way this level looks. So orange. It's nice. grabbed just a little too early there yeah I didn't that was a little bit too far left This parachute Goomba jukes me every time. You gotta like really crank it right. Gotta get a good jump on this guy. There you go. There we go. GG. Beam. Timmy Cliffs. Let's go back three. Portobello mushrooms have more potassium than bananas. Banana fact one, bananas suck. True. <laughs> I have to be in mood like for bananas. I just and it's it's rare normally. Okay. 
Gotta slow down a little bit there. Koopa and like slows your momentum down a little bit. I gotta like just not. I have to control jump, I think, not slow down. This guy here. Better. Oh, he walked on me. Okay. Good jump. I was the wrong button there and then I just lost it. <laughs> I jumped like an idiot. That's such a far jump. I gotta stall longer, I think, a little bit there. I don't know if I gotta be slower or quicker, actually. Reminder, if you fall onto into a bottomless pit after beating the level, you still die. Right. So it's not giving me some control here. Oh. Oh, I see. It's gonna make me uh, time it. That jump is probably the hardest jump in this level. There we go. 
think I just go too early a lot. Ah. Fuck! <laughs> a little earlier. Just a little bit earlier. GG. All right. I think that was like the third time. <laughs> Spin to win five. Spin to win one to four. Our Mario Maker two exclusive store. Sorry for the inconvenience. Oh, okay. Spin, 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 spin to win. I did a jump. I'm a dumbass. Uh, gaming and we're dead <laughs> but we got it that oh, wasn't bad that was cool okay we'll just time it better we'll just wait a second much better dead didn't get a great jump I think I got a control jump, not re-grab. Well, maybe not. I don't know. That it looks like a low ceiling. Try and control jump. There we go. That's better. Ah. what you're supposed to do intended way there Oof. I don't know how many little surfs I can do there one or two Oops. Nah, that's bad. Yeah. 
don't know if I'm supposed to be hitting that thwomp higher up, maybe? That's what's going on. Almost. Hmm. I'm trying to do a control jump there, but land on it at a higher. To land on it, I have to let go. Fat, like, so he falls quicker. I'm not getting the regrab quick enough there. You probably can just make it when it's on the ground, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna try a couple more full jumps, I think. Not when it's on the ground. It's close. One jump too late. Oh my god, I forgot to surf. We're fucking up. So maybe just one bounce, I think it was. So we don't need to hit it when it's higher up. Plenty of room. Keep hitting this like ball way too far left, I think. PV I uh I cut my my 
I jump short. I land in too early on the ball, I think. Oops. Well, we've never done that before. Can jump too high. GG's. There we go. Act two. Radical Heights. Rumor has it that you can gain more speed by sliding without touching any direction. But what do I know? I'm just a box. Back four. Edible mushrooms are produced mostly in China. They produce about half of all our, our mushrooms. Half of all our mushrooms in the world or like the US? slope jumping and making it before but then it like wasn't making it i don't know i'll just wait same thing <laughs> I 
Necro Skyfall. Oof. That'd be faster. It's still a little slow, I think. There's a muncher, you didn't see it. Literally didn't see it. Mushroom fact five, just collecting random mushrooms in dangerous, is dangerous as a few varieties are highly poisonous. Don't eat poison. Aw, man. Oops. One, two, three, grab. <laughs> three, grab. Oh, I made it. The second coin, there's like a lot of variables. It doesn't always land there. You could be ahead of it, you could be behind it. <laughs> it's just a good, like, somewhere around there. 
But you have to kind of adjust accordingly. Which is kind of hard. Oof. I didn't think I had P-Speed. I didn't think I ran enough. I didn't think I was gonna make it. I wasn't ready. One, two, three. And... No! How'd I miss? I was trying to get ready for like a run jump because it looks like an, another tight jump to get that age. Peak is gonna be jumping high with momentum. once. Sheesh. <laughs> okay. GG, nice. That was cool. I liked that. Got a red level. Body eternal is a secret somewhere. Bang, bang. Ah! <laughs> mushroom pack six. Lightning actually makes mushrooms more plentiful. It's also very bright and cool to see. Rip and tear until it is done. Rip and tear. Bent the bent the bent 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 bent. You need the chuck.
Got him. I'm actually not even sure what I'm trying to do. Because that kills me. And it's, it wants me to... You can just jump on the Koopa. Am I supposed to be spin jumping, maybe? I think it's a timed spin jump. That's what I'm doing. Oof, okay. Yeah, it is what we're doing. I could just drop it instead of having him kick it and time it. <laughs> Has to be kicked for you to spin on it. Okay. Can't drop. Can't just drop it then. Start. This is like rough for me. Apparently. It looks like I'm going, I need him to uh, to run after me. Launch miles.
It's got two coins on there. I don't know if that means it wants me to jump on him twice or just jump off of him, period. Just, or just once. Fuck. I don't know if I can go right away too. I don't know if he'll be waiting for me at the end there. If I go after the first hop. One, two. He, just, he needs to be running. Maybe I gotta jump on him in the middle as well. There's a secret there. Okay. Can't get like directly center on him right now for some reason.
Why? Why is he not fucking kicking it no more? Thank you. Just a little longer there. Oh my god, I actually ran left to try and catch the shell. I thought it was too far right when I threw it. We're almost there. Subs ago, what up, man? How you doing? Baby. Was that your in club? You invited him. <laughs> what is what are you making, sub? What is your knitting pattern? Making like a blanket for your animals, your pets, your birdies. No. The nitwits. I like it. But, 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 but. God, can I just do this jump? Not stitching, bitch. Did you fart through the yarn to see like how fast it would pass through? Was it a, was it a test? You guys testing? There we go. Don't fart or snore. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky switch house. I gotta do that part again when we come back. But at least we know how to do it. Those are not solid at all. Not even semi. <laughs> Jack, you're wondering, how did you learn English, sub? You teach yourself? Or were, you, were you taught in school or something? We're just curious.
I need to wait just a little bit. Hey, longer. I feel like I gotta get back on this area at some point. I could be wrong about that. That's a spin jump. That's where you can do it. Okay. Ugh. Bill. Was taught British English at school. Learned American accent from movies. Gotcha. <laughs> Becky watches a lot of movies. She does not have a. She does not even try to have an American accent. <laughs> <laughs> I caught myself accidentally trying to do a British accent. I not even like, I wasn't even like trying, but it it, it came out at the when we were, I met her friends. I felt like I was making fun of them <laughs> by accident. I wasn't really trying to. <laughs> garage, 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 garage. I wasn't ready. Can't find like the hop, the right hop to reposition there. This feels familiar to me. Like I'd done this before or something. I don't know why. It's like I had random deja vu. Like I've done it before. I probably have to be fast. American English is easier to learn through listening, otherwise they're the same. I see, I see. What's the best way to learn your language, you would think?
The first time I did the jump, I was the easiest. Now I feel like it's not lining up too well. I don't like that I hit I hit it on its way up, but it's not like at its peak when I hit it. Like I feel like it should be. It's a spin. Else, hard to react to that. If when you're just gut fall speeding it, I guess I should have just stopped. Damn, that was good. Okay, I think that's how I'm gonna do it from now on. I'm gonna do a little baby hump when I get it over there. Either modern standard Arabic or Gulf region Arabic. Okay. I'll try to keep that in mind. You think listening also is the easier way to... Well, I think the only way I really heard your language is through speech from certain streamers and uh, music. I know we were talking about Vortex before. A while back. So I listened to a lot of his stuff, I like him. Even though I have no idea what he's saying. I like the way it sounds. Gulf region is slow, that's why it's easier to learn through hearing. Oh, okay. They speak slower. Oh. 
I got I, I'm getting to that part more consistent. But I'm not getting on the vines consistently Dumb jump. <laughs> I hate that the checkered board kills you. I hit up. None, none, I'm actually not even sure what that means. Speak more clearly, we don't swap letters or speed through parts. I see, I see. Except Kuwait, we sometimes just do J's with Y's. I just do it just to do it sometimes. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of words that I say that I put like a Y at the end of it, and they don't even they don't even get spelled with a Y at the end or anything like that. Just like saying it like that. Mike, Mike, uh, my friend Mike in school, they used to get rid of all the L's in the language and they replace it with R's for fun. So they, they would speak English. <laughs> but like, I'll say like, likey and stuff like that to be like cutesy and shit. <laughs> You fucker. I really don't know how to use them correctly. This is gonna take a little bit. Fishing boos are rough for me. They are just crazy. They, uh, like they go your speed when they want to. I don't know. Sometimes it's easy to do, with, do what you want with them, and sometimes they will just do their own thing. I don't know. I haven't learned how to use, like, manipulate correctly.
No. <laughs> Ah, it was too fast. I had to stop. I'm pretty sure I was gonna miss if I didn't like put the brake on a little bit. Blah, blah, blah. Where are the plans today, sub? You working on any any projects? Record for tomorrow on diffusion. <laughs> do you um do you just like drive the car your car around or do you like race and shit or drift or just like have fun off roading with it or something? Drive earlier or late, you do some spirited driving. What's spirited driving? Is that just normal driving? <laughs> just enjoying some sights or something? I've never heard that before. Fuck that muncher, dude. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. It means ripping it on the highway around corners. Okay, so you're fucking putting it to use. Testing its limits. <laughs> well, well, what's he do it when there's like no when everyone is like sleeping or not on the road yet the roads are a lot more clear do you guys have to normally drive everywhere or is everything like in walkable distance Like your market and stuff.
here for sure we I, we can get away with a uh, car also Jackie's like Amazon service comes within a day for like everything in in America I had to wait a week to get anything from Amazon very different We have markets every block about but for malls and work we have to drive i got you if you're like semi your necessities are are close by but if you want to make money you gotta go okay at least you work at the market <laughs> or you sell your own stuff probably your own business Magic alleyways, yeah. I mean, you technically drive to work. You just don't take your own car. You got public transportation. I hate you. I hate that fucking spray. I don't know. <clears throat> walk home though. Well, two today's a week I walk home. Ah, okay. That's because of traffic being shit, right? It's actually just faster sometimes. Yes. GG. Did you jump though? Didn't try. <laughs> I walk past the bus I would be on just about every day. <laughs> Do you have um public transportation sub? Ride tigers and camels. <laughs> that would be awesome. Roundabouts have people selling stuff like uh, pink pistachios, truffles, and fruits. Oh, nice. Back to this. We do, but it's not that great. Yeah, that's uh, America too. I mean, it depends where you are, really. S trains are pretty nice in a lot of areas, but uh, where I was in the suburbs, you want your own car. The buses are you kind of suck, and they're expensive. No reason. They just they expect you to have your own car. If you're paying for bus transportation, you're never going to get your own car because you're putting too much money into the bus. 
like that's the same thing with like hotels like if you don't have a, your place to stay and you're paying to stay at a hotel until you can get a home it doesn't work that way you're never getting a home if you have to stay at a hotel which is shitty it costs more it costs more than that like to rent and own the house at a hotel at long stays oh i'm the Yeah, <clears throat> it's like if you take the public, if you use public stuff or take the public stuff, you're never gonna have your, you're never, you'll never get back on your feet and own your own stuff. They just take from you. It's like punishment for having to use their shit. Which sucks. If you like come from people, that, like if you're, if you're born into the kind of poor, like it's, you gotta work really fucking hard to catch up with everyone, to keep up with anyone else. Nature. Jump. Jump. Fuck. Damn, I bunked the ceiling. At least in like in New York City and stuff, shit's expensive, but like you don't have to. Like you can make money. You can just walk. Oh, I see. But the trains are there if you want. And they're not that bad. You buy a card and it's, I swear, I think most places I went it was like maybe two dollars. A train ride. Almost anywhere I went. The drive home from the airport, he went around. He went around the roundabouts. And then he's ever seen in his life. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the whole one just, it was like five or six roundabouts. We had, we had, they're so rare by me anyway. I feel like in America, they're pretty rare. You don't see a lot of them. You just have T intersections, cross crosswalks and stuff, cross sections. You guys seem to be like against cross sections and wait at lights. So you just use a roundabout and go at your own pace whenever you see the opening. live is it a roundabout or we live by, by a highway or is it both i feel like that's a, that's like a highway ramp right next to us right dead is that pipe even accessible i don't even know oh, Our subway was shut down when I was a kid, but we're working on trains now. Okay. Last time I was on a bus, it was a buck for a chip. Don't know how. Don't know now. Mm. A buck isn't bad. Is it dirty though? Like our our, I feel like our trains and buses are kind of disgusting. In America. 
They're not the clean, cleanest. And you find sketchy people on the, on them a lot. I don't think this is possible. Yeah, it won't let me in. Okay. <laughs> it's a weird fucking thing right there. You thought New York City Metro was cheap and clean? I get maybe it just matters which one's your road, I don't know. That's a lot and Marquinas. 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 Definitely find sketchy people if it's not if it's not dirty. What the fuck? Right there, you take control. Everything else is auto. Oh, I did it again. I feel like the cleanest metros I've been on are is the airports. Airports have really nice ones. And I like the shuttles. I miss, you kidding me? Looks like I need to go more right there anyway with momentum to make it to that sun over there. Roundabouts are more efficient than crosswalks at traffic flow. See, like, also, our, I've, we've, like, never had, like, a two-lane roundabout either in the U.S. I've never been on a two-lane one or more. That seems terrible. That seems like a terrible idea. It doesn't seem, it seems worse than, like, bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic in New York City. So I don't know if that's actually more efficient. <laughs> also, the fucking sirens, and you hear them all the time in the background on stream. Well, I guess not all the time, but I, I used to hear them all the time. I hear them all the time. I don't know if that's the roundabout where everyone's fucking fucking up. Where is it? Where are the, what, where are the, where are the fuck ups all happening? Becky. Anywhere that's a bypass. <laughs> so the bypasses are the problems. That's the danger. Is it because there's no light or something? What what makes them danger? People just don't know how to drive. Everyone just tries to squeeze in, to get off and on the, the ramps or something. Georgia was bad near any highway ramps, any exits. But also, like all the important shit you need to get to was right on that on those roads too. They put they dumped everything onto a main road, so everybody and their mom was on one fucking road to get to anywhere. It's really annoying with how they did it in the south, in my opinion, and where I lived before. Uh, where I lived in Buffalo, though, in New York, like, it's it was grid-based, so it was, like, way more, way better. Get You can get to a way multiple ways. If one road was closed off, everyone wasn't, like, stuck going the same way, you know? And there's, like, a couple ramps you can get to to get on the highway. You don't have to go to the, the same one.
and you had your like your homes were a little bit separate from uh from businesses so you have like a couple roads with businesses on it and then you'd have a you'd have a couple just places like couples cul-de-sacs or stuff or houses or pass-throughs you use your you use like a um a street with homes to to go from one business street to another business street we live right on the edge of the city that road is the access to everywhere and we have the fire station just up the road so they will come out of there and if they need to go anywhere past us that's the road they go on ah, okay i see so you're like right in a cut through at area <laughs> i cut through to the main parts you're like right in the middle of it your road is like the cut through there's no other way to cut through <laughs> Grabs. Oh, oh it's the main road. You saw all our roads are blocked off now because of the low traffic neighborhood things. All cars, etc., had to go on the main roads. Oh, I see. So you guys don't even have the option. Take like the scenic route and stuff like that. That's only meant for people to walk on. Yeah, they cut it all off for people just to walk on in. <clears throat> it's safe for walkers. You don't have to worry about getting ran over, I guess. That's kind of a good idea. This sucks if you drive. Which is why I would walk everywhere. And cyclists, yeah. I guess maybe that's a big thing too. You guys like really take care of your bikers your pedal bikers we just like put them on the side of the road on the sidewalk and, and hope people know how to drive they don't take they don't take priority in our by us I always like walking more anyway. I like seeing sights and stuff, and I'm, I've always been like a, I hike a lot, so. I, think I just like being on foot, I don't know. To feel the safest, I guess. So more control, most, I mean, I'm in control of, like, for the most part, if I'm gonna do something stupid. cars <laughs> your college kids have to like walk from building to building to get to their like classes and stuff because a lot of our colleges there's you you can probably stay in the building the whole time and just take a bunch of different hallways and staircases in a lot of the colleges so you don't really have to like leave the college to get to your class your next class or whatever it's just like walking through like a big ass mansion type shit <laughs> oh oh okay now you have the option i think for some places i think some colleges you still have to like 
walk to the building sometimes, but a lot of them I don't think you have to. To go outside to get to your place, next place. Why? I'm not keeping P speed. I think I'm, I'm supposed to be. I uh I stole your light bulb today. So I got like actual skin color today. I'm not like super pale, bright white. <laughs> With my from my ring light. So we might wanna I, I think it work it looks a lot better. I feel like we should get a light bulb for this room. I'll put it back after I'm done streaming. Old college was so badly planned that walking to your car and driving to the other side of it's faster than walking to it inside campus. Walking to your car and driving to it. <laughs> it's kind of tedious. Or the hall is just too full of people or was it just the way it routed like the, the way you had to like turn corners and shit like you zigzag through the building to get to where you had to go Your fucking school was like a paintball arena or something or a laser tron <laughs> it sounds like you can play dungeons and dragons and larp and shit in that place I didn't expect the second one. I thought I was gonna be spinning like on something. Why did it make me spin there? I guess for the low height. You had to go through the dean's office to go from math class to English class. Ugh. Yeah. Seems awkward. It's one of those moments too. Like I bet you like anyone that has a lot. Most people get like anxious when they walk through like higher people, higher status people, right? And they're really gonna like aggro them. And they're like, stop right there. <laughs> you just kind of just want to keep going, man. <laughs> Dang it. Not a dungeon, you can't aggro them. Yes, you can. <laughs> if you walk close to them, some people will stop you and they'll attack you <laughs> with words. <laughs> I 
We uh we used to use the aggro for the cops actually a lot of time. Did you aggro the cops? Why are they following us? Oh shit! You aggroed him. It's higher than his lights went on. <laughs> you do not want to aggro the cops. Motherfucker, that's a fucking high jump Most of the time the office were empty security sometimes stopped me from wearing shorts for wearing shorts. Oh, you guys have like cla uh, You guys have dress code for school Is America the only weirdos that don't have dress code? Tell them it's hot and I'm late. Go fuck yourself and walk away. <laughs> I mean, it's probably better for people to have, probably to have dress code because like guys and girls, man, we get, we'd wear skimpy shit and they start wondering why the teachers become pedophiles. Like it's pretty bad. But when you're fucking like flashing your tits in front of your teacher for like 80 minutes a day, what is he gonna do? <laughs> Yeah, I think just my school alone had like three or four, maybe four, maybe five in my when I was going to school, it ended up on the prison. That kind of shit. <clears throat> Doesn't. Oh, well, I mean, looks helps. Start it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. But I'd assume I would. I would. I would assume America is probably a lot worse with that. Compare it to anywhere else because our kids do worse Nothing if they can get away with it Force it on guys. Girls wear short skirts and you can see their underwear when they walk, but cargo shorts are harem. <laughs> yeah, I thought your I thought your people had to be covered too. Like head like headdress and everything. Personal preference. Oh, okay. 
not Iran. <laughs> I don't want Iran to have to be covered up though. Like uh, we had we had some Indian people that would cover up. They wear the whole thing, just all black, in a headdress with a mask. But I, I, I that would I'm pretty sure that is just preference. Or what their parents told them they had to wear. <laughs> okay, got a control jump. There, fuck. Well, it's not a control jump. It's a maximum jump. Like I get myself some room. They were beautiful colors. <clears throat> For uh, in, in our bus, like in our neighborhoods, they were all black. I don't know what kind of Indian they were though. There we go, finally. GG. I thought people in the Middle East covered up because it was actually cooler to be covered in layers of lovely cool cotton. I think some of it is that. I think some of it does protect them from the sun in some places. I never understood that until I played a couple games. I always thought you'd just sweat even more and be disgusting and stuff like that. But then, uh, um, there's definitely some games, some puzzle games that I played where it's like a point and click adventure. Um, and like, I, uh, there was this one room in Shadowgate. Uh, Shadowgate's a good example where the room is on fire and it says it's too hot, you can't take it. And it instantly kicks you out of the room and you have to put on like a, a cowl or a cape before you go in. And then it's like, okay, you you are protected from the, the flames. 